What's up everyone, Clayton here, and today we are back with another Skyrim build. Uh, there was a short hiatus between the videos, but I had to deal with some stuff, but that's all taken care of now, so the video should be on schedule from now on. Anyways, this build was suggested by a, uh, by, or a viewer, I don't know if he's a subscriber, uh, Overlord Parkour. Uh, he put this build in one of the comments, and he was cool with me making a build about it, so thank you very much for that, and so yeah, thanks. Uh, his, his name of his channel should be in the description down below. Uh, just just because I want to give him the credit he deserves. Um, so yeah, this build is called the Death Knight. Uh, the Death Knight is a uh, undead character who uses destruction, one-handed conjuration, and optional spell or optional skills with archery and restoration. Uh, Overlord Parkour actually put a uh, backstory on here, which is really cool. So I will read the, uh, the backstory that he gave for this build. Um, the Death Knight was a mercenary who had a target he wasn't supposed to kill. His employers were fierce and hanged him publicly. After his body was dumped, a Breton necromancer used the Death, Thr Death Thrall spell on him. The Breton taught him many skills as to use frost and lightning magic, revive corpse and summon undead, also to be able to summon his own weapons. The Breton also taught the Death Knight basic speech. So yeah, but that's pretty much how he's still alive. Uh, and you can kind of just go from there that the Death Lord came, or the Death Knight came to uh, Skyrim and was kind of ambushed and kind of can start the story from there. So yeah, it's a pretty cool backstory. Um, it's pretty much, yeah, he killed the wrong person, the people weren't happy with it, and he died. And now he can still do his mercenary jobs in the afterlife as a undead uh, soldier, undead knight. So anyways, we'll go into some of the skills real quick. I listed some of them off, but I'll give a little bit more in-depth explanation of what you'd be using. Um, so yeah, like I said, one-handed, destruction, and conjuration, as well as heavy armor are your main skills. Uh, one-handed, you'll be using uh, conjuration weapons, uh, such as the bound a sword, uh, as your one-handed skills. And destruction, you'll be using frost or lightning magic. Uh, these are kind of linked to the undead, especially frost, because it's you no know, cold, death. Uh, they all kind of go hand in hand, so that's why you use that. As well as Conjuration, you'll be using it to raise the undead and use the Bound Sword. Uh, since you are undead, you can have a better understanding of the undead and be able to control them um, with pretty much any whim. And Heavy Armor is what the armor of choice you'll be using, so you want to make sure you get skills um, you know, put into that as well, or points put into that. Um, and so optional skills he said was Archery. Um, Archery would be really good for ranged, as well as kind of giving it like a other style to play if you don't really like enjoy the one-handed. Um, the crossbow would probably be a good fit on this because he's a mercenary and you think he would be using a crossbow because it's more uh, mechanized and like better for killing, and that's what mercenaries do. Also, restoration. Uh, the reason why we have restoration is because there is a uh, spells in Skyrim that make it so you can uh, control the undead or make the undead run away from you and that kind of gives more uh, role playing ability to the death knight because they can use these spells to su quote unquote control the undead as well as you can uh, use heal undead on your minions uh, to make them you know stay alive longer in fights so that kind of covers what the skills you'll be using, or the abilities you'll be using. Uh, so we'll go into kind of what the armor you'll be using, as well as some of the spells that you'll be using, because you'll be using a lot of spells in this class, or for this build. For equipment, you want the Ancient Nord Helm, or the Executioner's Hood, uh, if you want to roleplay more. I use the Executioner's Hood because it looks really cool, and you can get this for the start of the Dark Brotherhood quest, when you talk to Astrid, and you have to kill one of the three uh, marked people, you could say and you can get it there. For the other armor, you'll need the Orcish armor, Orcish boots, and you'll need Daedic gauntlets. Um, they look really nice on him and kind of give the mercenary feel, and, you know, with the hood on, it makes him really look like he's undead and, you know, not someone you want to be messing around with. Also, uh, Shadowmere is kind of a good character to have with this. Since he is undead and Shadowmere kind of has that undead feel too with the red eyes, they kind of go hand on hand. And Overlord Parkour also said that it kind of made um, bec him become a knight more. Uh, you know, with Shadowmere, he's on a horse riding around. So it kind of gives that knight, knight aspect uh, that, you know, this kind of builds about. And for the spells you want to be using, you want to make sure you get Bound Sword, because that will be the da sword you'll be using. If you do not want to use Bound Sword, you could also use Orcus Sword, which is really cool. And for other spells, you want to make sure you get Grand Healing, as well as any Frost or Lightning Magic you'll be want to use. I use Flash Cloak a lot, because it gives good AoE damage, uh, which is Area of Effect, which means like anywhere around you, you could be doing damage, which is really good. And I picked Frost, but you can also pick Lightning in this build, I don't think it really matters. 
and you can also mix and match a bunch of spells. Uh, I kind of leave this build up to you guys what you want to do because this is there's a lot of ways you can play this and I really like this build because I've been playing this a lot lately uh, while I was trying to get this build figured out and it's really fun to play. Um, so yeah, I haven't talked about shouts. Uh, shouts marked for death and ice form look really well. Uh, marked for death because, you know, death, more death, and ice form is cold and freezes them and makes it so you can, you know, uh, take out a lot of enemies really quickly. And we'll go over one last thing real quick, and that is stats. So for health, magicka, and stamina, you want to have a good, decent chunk of magicka. And because you're going to be using a lot of spells, but you also don't want to die very much because you're going to be in melee range most of the time and so you go full archer. So you also want to put a lot of health into it. I'd probably leave stamina at the wayside and not really worry about that, but you can kind of go whatever you want. I wouldn't really put a lot into stamina. Also, there's one last thing I forgot to talk about, which is the standing stone. Um, for the standing stone, you could use the ritual stone, which it will uh, be make you able to revive an undead body and make it fight alongside you, which is really good and I would recommend it. So hopefully you guys would enjoy this build and once again I want to thank Overlord Parkour for the build idea and giving me his permission or her permission, sorry I don't know, I assume you're a guy, uh, for making this build and making the video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Also if you guys haven't seen these two other videos here, uh, make sure to check those out. The links will be in the description as well for you mobile users. And So yeah, thank you guys for watching and this is Clayton signing out.